Okay, cool. Alright, there's tackle. Ready? Right. Where you guys are. Dex. There's me. How long is this car? Hmm? How long uh, is this car? Do you think this car will be? Yeah, it's as like, long as the other ones we've done so far. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's just the last one, it's just like a big stretch. Okay, gotcha. I mean, that makes sense. Anyways, um... Yeah. Okay, Alex, will you be watching the stream? No, because okay. it's gonna flag me. Ah, I see. Okay. Alright, let's continue. If everyone's ready, the three, cool, clang. Alright, let's uh, make sure everything's working. <laughs> oh? Okay. This fucking gachi. Oh yeah, I, that was the first thing I saw when I looked at my other monitor too. Okay, let's uh, set skills. Um, menacing focus. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we, have, uh, we, I think we have uh, some points to unlock some skill. Yeah, right. So right. check your amount of Yeah. Hand of, hand of your mono pad. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got seven points. Okay. Um, cool and composed. Uh, Steady's aim. Uh, okay. This is aiming speed. This is aiming speed. Um, <laughs> no algorithm. Speed of memorizing a statement. Uh, that never really. Uh, decreases at a slower rate when concentrating. Uh, oh! Okay, this is a good huh? one. That, that one's a good one. Illusion, influence gauge recovers over time during concentration and fever time. Oh! Oh wow. Oh wow. Uh, the IG is the health bar, right? Yeah. Okay. The influence gauge, that is the health bar. Right, that's, that's nice. Melodious voice. Uh, increase damage to the opponent to be destroyed. Bullet capacity. Just so you know, some most most of these, uh, I believe have about half of these like these three skills from the first game that you get from the other characters. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Two statements at once. Hold on a minute. I David I just need a hand cannon equipped to kill the invader. Is it a shift? You don't, you don't need to use I, a hand. I cannon. did it. Yeah, you don't need you don't need to use a hand cannon to kill them. You just get, kill them. Nope. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay, Alex, dead. Playing down now. Okay. Uh, I love you too. Who oh, fucking more? Oh, <laughs> bitch. Lasagna. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Alright. She waves whenever you leave. I, I love that every time. Goodbye, because you're gonna send one of your friends to die. Okay, we didn't have to go that far. Okay, Goodbye, see. you're gonna send one of your friends to die. And it rhymes. Okay, delusion. You're delusional, Hajime. No, I'm just bored stupid. Uh, yes. Oh, I, ca I can't just use menacing focus? Why not? Because it can't, you can't stack. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Um, so this one, yeah, that is just better. So you, oh. you just like switch it out there. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Because their skills don't stack; they force that. They'd be yeah. like, no, you can't, you can't break the game this easily. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, look at her tooth force. Okay, Monica will find number four. The victim is Nekomaru Nida, aka Mekomaru. Um, his body is discovered in Great Tower, which is inside the funhouse. The set is severely damaged beyond repair. And shall be considered the cause of death. <laughs> the fact that they like add like Nekomaru. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <here like> that. <laughs> I'm also a juice vendor. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Despite the fact that his arms are lingering and dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable. It seems uh, they separate due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of the body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions are shut down. Cool. Wire. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire. The tip of the wire was tied into a loop. Good night button. A uh, button back of Nakamaru's neck. When his button's pressed, his functions cease and he's forced into sleep mode. Oil mo oil on the floor. Oil that was flowing out of Nakamaru's body. The majority of it came from the fatal head wound. Tipped over pillar. 
One of the pillars on the side of the doors was tipped over. The damaged area of the pillar is also stained. It was so heavy that even two people couldn't budge it. Enormous looking hammer found on the floor of the tower. It was completely clean, almost as if it was brand new. Chain. A chain wrapped on the handles of the door on the back of Great Tower. For some reason, the killer was able to enter the tower from Strawberry Hill. Akane apparently heard a rumbling noise at around 5.30 a.m. Game! <laughs> a lot of small pieces of stone were scattered underneath Mechamaru's body. However, there are no fragments on top of his body. Biko uh, saw Mechamaru walking towards the first floor of Strawberry House at 5 a.m. At 5.30 a.m., the uh, alarm of the wall clock in the lounge of Strawberry House's second floor started going off. Rihiko was at the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop the alarm, but Kazuichi and Gundam rushed to the lounge after being alerted uh, by the sound. However, Nagito was apparently the only one who didn't hear it. Contact elevator. The contact elevator used to move between the two houses is broken and no longer worked. It was apparently broken at the Grape House side, so the last person who would have arrived uh, to use it would have arrived at Grape House. <laughs> I slept like a baby because I was wearing my bango earmuffs. <laughs> strawberry Hall's button. The button Strawberry Hall that opens the door leading to the tower was broken. Nagito has seen appearance. Nagito was supposed to be able to, it was supposed to be a strawberry house, but the uh, but appeared at Grip House via some unknown method. I'm in the banana house. Should have been broken. <laughs> He's teleporting. Kazuichi's account. Apparently, the compass's needle spun 180 degrees while it was inside the contact elevator. Alarm oh, clock right. timer. Uh, Nakamura uses alarm clock to recover from sleep mode. The clock's arms are stopped at 7.30, and the alarm was set to 7.30 as well. Radio clock. The clock in Nakamura's chest receives radio waves and automatically adjusts itself. Basically, it's an amazingly precise clock that cannot be tampered with uh, and cannot even uh, to set the time. Uh, broken doorknob. Doorknob found under the tipped pillar, uh, tipped over pillar. The screws at the base are pulled out, and there's some scratch marks on the knob itself. And one of the doorknobs from the far back of Strawberry House is missing, so this doorknob originally attached to that door. Strange feeling in tower. Regardless of whether you enter the tower from the Great Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Nekomaru's body, uh, the tipped over pillar, and the oil stains, even disassembled parts of the Wiki range look exactly the same. That's so weird. Alright, but uh, let's get into this. Somebody died and somebody murdered. I know who died. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I was the killer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jerk. Okay, let's get Three, two, one. Trial. In session, all right. Now then, no, let's begin with a simple <laughs> explanation of the class trial. Executed. During the take class seat, trial, but don't you sit present down. your oh, arguments for who the killer is, oh and vote for yeah. who done it. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it so much. If I you don't. vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, the black one does. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that black person will earn the right to leave this island. I'm Get out sure of here. you guys are starving by now. <laughs> Let's get revved up and raring to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Oh, I love rabbit curry. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm going to be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? <laughs> I love I love Akane. Uh, Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. An impressive amount of drool. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't able to leave Strawberry House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um... I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime? <laughs> Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Oh no. Imbecile! I am not some woman with flexible legs! <laughs> 
Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna screenshot this for, for out of context. Yes. We need to save up more of these because they're treasure. All right. And then uh, get the Discord. In the style. Spoilers. Yeah. Not spoilers. <laughs> okay. Spoilers. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. <laughs> With legs. With legs like those. I could probably do the splits real easy. <laughs> okay, Sonya has good legs. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House. Cute. And went to the tower together. <laughs> and then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. Mm. Ding dong, bang bong. <laughs> we heard the body discovery <laughs> announcement too. From Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't yeah, go somebody. anywhere because of that. That was Nagito. He like humped it until it broke. Thinking we should <laughs> yeah. at least find some <laughs> method to communicate, oh we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. I'm the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. Okay. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. So it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. I would dismember Nakamaru. Yeah. <laughs> one of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! Oh, God. You're the cruelest one here. Now, now. Enough with the lovers' quarrel. <laughs> we need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury Jackie, of the discussing of irrelevant things. Yeah, honestly. The incident this time has many questions. Mm. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then I have let's many start questions. with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Did she? Did he just insult her? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, That's the like weapon is cool. obvious, right? <laughs> Huh. <laughs> what the Was heck, he doing guys? a meme? The yeah. <laughs> you can totally tell just by huh. looking. You can tell the weapon. <laughs> you can tell what the weapon is. <laughs> sure, 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 exactly. I'm, you. I'm trying to think. Exactly. You can tell what the weapon is just by looking. It wouldn't be much of a mystery if that were true. The only thing at the crime scene that looked like a weapon was probably. <laughs> oh, vertigo! <laughs> Oh, so just okay, okay. My fist <laughs> and juice dispenser. They are deadly weapons. <laughs> well, the phone tipped over. Well, the obvious I guess we should figure place. out the weapon first. The weapon yes. was right there at the scene of the crime. <laughs> that pillar, huh? Mm. Oi, no, oi. the hammer. The hammer. The killer used that hammer. The and hammer. beat the crap out of him. Mm. If it was unexpected, I suppose that is possible. That's right. It was a surprise beating. <laughs> the weapon is decided. Nah. The hammer of the tower was the weapon. Like you said, it sounds like that's the case, but... I guess we should figure out the weapon was right there. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The hammer. But it looks new. The killer used that hammer... ...and beat the crap out of him! No, that's wrong! So do I have to Oh, I have to do that. Uh. All I could see is no. sent it private I can't accept that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? Why can't you accept it? I can't. A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body. Just yeah, like human blood, it. right? Huh. If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. Mm -hmm. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Well, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. And why leave it there? Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. You're pretty insightful, baby gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> Baby what the hell did you call me? Me? Baby Gangsta? Me? 
He's like a boss baby, but I'm throwing up. Uh, no, stop it! <laughs> Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. Oh, of course, Soda. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. See, buddy? <laughs> No, it seems that was a waste of time. There's so much tension between Gundam and, and Soda. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nakamaru? The pillar. That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. It was either the wire or the pillar. As far then, as how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? What the? Excuse me. The actual weapon has oil on it, but if it's something at the crime scene that had oil on it, it was, uh, the broken pillar. I see! Ha! I see! The only thing with I'm oil blind. on it is the broken <laughs> pillar. Those crosses over my eyes? Yeah, I'm blind, actually. Then that pillar is the weapon! Coach Nakamaru got clobbered with that pillar! Mm. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar! <laughs> Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? This is why you spec in strength. <laughs> the fume pillar. Oh, oh, oh. Hufflepuff. It's, it's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? No. Oh. Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body. With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. Ooh, buzzkill. Such a good song. So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean... No, to get my juice to work. killed himself? <laughs> Don't be stupid! He ain't the type to commit suicide! Mm. Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all! <laughs> the sound. Well, I guess you're right. Hmm. What the heck? I guess you are Wong. <laughs> but it does bother me a little. The word suicide. School slide. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Fort Murder and the killing my school life is apparently a schmooseide. Huh? A schmooseide? Yeah, a schmooseide. A schmooseide. No, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nekomaru would commit schmooseide. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, okay. there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Thank you, Sonya. Huh? For reals? For real? Yes, for reals. Did you know that video killed the radio? <laughs> for reals, Sonya's saying for reals. Hey Alex, can you say for reals? And Sonya. Like, for reals? <laughs> see, so my gut was right after all. All right, oh, it's up to you, Sonya. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. <laughs> Sonya's not the main character of the game. Understood. Then I shall give it Wait, my all. Alex, say sorry what you guys though. Because this guy's so <laughs> broken Japanese. <laughs> Sonia, here I go. Sonia, here I go. Oh, she's so cute. Here I go. Oh, I love Sonia. Here I, I go. We got the Mario. <laughs> okay, she's loading her gun. Good night, button. Oil on the floor. Wire broken door knob. Left right. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. That. What about tipping the pillar over? Mm. They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! <laughs> the killer murdered Nekomaru by tipping over that pillar. Is that really it? There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. Oh, let me, uh... Okay. 
Okay, and then... Dead. Okay. I'm dead! What about the people who fell over? <laughs> they aimed right for his head in bullseye! Even I could Ooh, probably tip shot. it over. <laughs> Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! Okay, I'll try this. There's no need to lift the If the pillar was beating him with it is What about tipping the pillar up? They aimed right for his Even I could Considering the pillar's weight. Uh, Are you saying the pillar wasn't that heavy? If that's true, then show me your proof! If you don't, I won't accept it! Damn. Plenty of milk, my kid. Oh, there's no use! I can't shoot through the contradiction with this! There's no need to lift that pillar! If the pillar Wait, was hey, look, not let me, lifted... Let me test that. Oh, I do get healed. That's so cool. Okay. Beating him with it is beyond a dream! What about tipping the pillar over? Mm. They aimed right for his head in bullseye. Okay, okay, okay. Even I could probably tip it up, considering it probably exert Sonia. <laughs> I didn't see I'm getting hella coming. excited. There's no need to lift. The if the pillar was beating him with it, is beyond. What about tipping the pillar over? Beat. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Look at what you got, though. I'm sorry, Sonia. You're precious, but I, 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 you're, I, you're on. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? <laughs> fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. He's dead. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed him, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I already said that. <laughs> I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I... I see. That was entirely... my bad. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Mm. Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Did they did they drop Nakamaru onto the pillar after they toppled it over? Like bang his head against it? Is, is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys the same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess <laughs> I should lend a hand. Hmm. <laughs> I lend these hands. <laughs> hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? Nagito was the slim in us. How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? Oh. I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by today. far the greatest shame. <laughs> huh? No, I am mean? bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill. Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course. You know, a specific the ultimate item. weapon. Uh, that thing. Ultimate yeah. weapon? Oh. Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? Hmm. We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, <laughs> am the ultimate the weapon. Ultimate weapon. <laughs> I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. 
It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon! We bug Yakumaku and Gundam! <laughs> no, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark divas of destruction. <laughs> so good, so cute! <laughs> he can! He can't! Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, love her. I, I see. Oh, I'm gonna save that. That's not gonna be even out of context. I'm just gonna. It's like he's hiding behind the sign, too. Oh, I love. The relationship is so cute. Hold on. Love it. E. Oh my god. We're called things. Yay! He called! What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the acoustics. <laughs> the acoustics. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. <laughs> I don't like this. Don't like Something this. is fishy going on here. And I don't smell it. Bullshit and say it clearly. What is the <laughs> ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The, the secret the, of the, the funhouse? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. <laughs> Except for Hajime? Except Hajime. Mm. If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the funhouse. Mm. Strawberry house leads to Strawberry Tower. And Grape House leads to Grape Tower. It just struck me that she has a weird resemblance to Sayaka. I mean, I think I already, I already, yes. said, I already thought that before. Yes. But yeah. Yes. Yes. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the central tower. Oh, they're not. <laughs> it is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret <laughs> of the Fun House. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Why is Sonya acting so comedic this 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 time around? And then I will. Uh, hmm. Man, lack not of nutrition. Does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonya's beautiful yeah, voice is just so soothing. Yeah, because I've eaten a couple days. Remember? <laughs> Full show. <laughs> I shall leave this matter to your discretion. Dialogue alone, that's just pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Faux show. Sure. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but I ended up finding <laughs> proof that completely contradicts that. Everybody rave! Get on the dance floor! Dance! No, okay, that's just me? Okay. I can't believe this idiot is born and stupid that's just <laughs> dancing. No, I was born to dance. In truth, oh Strawberry God. Tower and Grape Tower are actually Shabu the exact Ray same Tower. place! Hmm. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. <laughs> and the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem! Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia! Give it ten years. This whole time we've been thinking about the two towers as the same place, but oh, Discord is acting weird for me. Oh, uh Hold on. <laughs> I think. You close the I put in my thing. Yes, Discord. Like the ping is like low. Oh really? Oh, okay. It's cool. The Discord ping is like really low for some reason. Oh. Oh wait, that's good.
I think it's fine. I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm. Okay. Well, it is. Okay, then, uh, then we'll go back to this. Uh, hey. Are you good, man? Yeah, are you good to go? Yep! Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know. This. Yeah, Discord, like. Died for a moment. Uh, yeah, I had an I had a, I had a RTC problem. Oh, how weird. Oh, I, well, I'm have I was having this somewhat thing. No, wait, RTC. Oh. Hmm. Oh well, I mean. Uh, yeah. What? Hey, Jeremy. hey Jeremy. We're playing hey, Jeremy. Guys, I'm right now. As usual. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. But if that was the only mystery. There's no way Nagito would mention it here. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower. Are actually the exact same place. Yeah, no, that, that won't. That's the one. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Thanks for letting me. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both. I mean, the walls are different than the designs on the floor. We've already said I'll give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. I remember. <laughs> In Jeez, truth, Strawberry guy. Tower are actually the exact yeah, same place. Yeah, well, I was place. trying to do that. Like I swallowed. No, that's wrong. I swallowed the wrong way. Mm. So Swallowing. Both of those towers. Are they really the same place? I'm just proving no. Sonya wrong in every every instance today. <coughs> what? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? <laughs> okay. I knew it. She I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion, says Kazui. Oh my God! Is this a? Wait a second. Huh? It's probably almost is the night, this, actually. Is this a subtle Kogias? It's probably, but oh, I'm not quite... I can't quite pinpoint it out. Oh, really, could it be It's Kogias? because Sonya is, like, just a foreigner. Yeah, like, that's... Just, oh, but well, that makes sense, because Britannia! <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ. Oh. I mean, doesn't it seem strange? I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot no. that just so we can reference it in the future if we need to, if we're like thinking about it. We can't go back now. Yeah, I'll yeah. just like check the way uh, about that later. Yeah, please do. How funny. Okay. That's really funny. When we went to Great Tower from Grape Hall, Nekomaro's nope. body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Hmm. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. True. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. Hmm. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? That's a fairly well, sound theory. Man. If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? That's not true though, yeah. Does that mean he's Maybe. wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Hmm. Bow down! Oh god, okay. Neil. Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it! Hmm... While we were moving, Excuse Monokuma me. quickly moved things around. Huh... But Nekomaro's body wasn't about the only thing moved. This. Are hmm. you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake! Oh god! <laughs> you don't say that if you're a princess. That's a bad omen. Oh well, too late. She's wrong! I'm dead! <laughs> Water, oil, tip of over, course. chain, pillar, broken door knob. Oh boy, this is a lot. Okay. It might be broken door knob. There broken are many door. different ways. Okay. The body and the pillar could Definitely. have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Good job. Thank you. Advance! Moving the body in the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? Hmm. It seems you have forgotten. Do, uh, Monokuma do is surprisingly strong. 
Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear, the pillar of the body, <laughs> everything at the crime scene, he could have moved it all. Easy as pie. That's that's like nice pie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you're moving back here. Yeah, okay. No, there's definitely a hole in what you said. I need to show her the evidence that contradicts that. Then I'll make a hole in her with this sword that I have. It seems you have forgotten. What? <laughs> Manakuma is surprisingly strong. Oh god, I ran out. Changing the power of the future propeller, the body, everything at the crime scene. Oh, so instead of your lady, who it's your lady hole. <laughs> okay, so it's a doorknob. Okay. Crap! Damn it! I won't be able to cut through so you can battle with this! I need to get over it. It seems you have forgotten. I'm relying on you. I, yes. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the future with the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Not the oh, it's not the doorknob. Get shit on there. Nigga, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, well, okay, so I'll, I guess I'll voice Sonya since uh, Alex was preoccupied. This is an odd apple of an assumption. There's no way I can understand what you're saying. Crap. <laughs> Damn it. I won't be able to cut through Sonya's rebuttal with this. It hmm. seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic rope, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. How about this? There we are. Allow me to cut through those words. Allow me to cut through those words, Sonya. Moving the body. I have stabbed you with possible. the actual sword. But it would have been impossible. The body. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been impossible. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't think about that. Huh? Um. When the position of Nekomaru's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Mm. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I... I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. That's okay, you did your best. It's alright! A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch! I'm uh, getting I, the money shots. Okay, look, I know he's kissing ass, but I mean, I can't disagree with what he's saying. To be fair, he's not wrong. So what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Hmm. Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the e handbook was still hmm. there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. Oh wait, my e the same is still building there. or two different buildings, then what are they? We're rotating around it. Hmm. 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 <laughs> no idea, huh? This mystery ties into the secret of the fun house. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Then the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Gundam Tanaka. Uh, I mean. Hey, uh, Nagito. What you want, nerd? I thought it would come to this. <laughs> I knew my turn was coming up. My move. Fine. Draw. I'll tell you guys a big <laughs> hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. <laughs> look at, look at Ego. Me. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. But Give then me. it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. Huh. It's also important for me because it will help me determine something. Hmm. Determine. Is he talking about the traitor? Maybe. If so, why did Nagito say all that say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? But how do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. You performed the appropriate action in order to learn the secret. Matakuma takes tea! Life threatening. <laughs> I see! I see! You're talking about the final dead room, right? No. You cleared the life threatening game there and found something, didn't you? No. That's right. <laughs> Uh, hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. Huh. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. Hmm. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Big strange scenery? <laughs> 
Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. Huh. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. Oh. You took a picture? Yep. Yep. Oh god, <laughs> his face changed yeah. like mid-transition. <laughs> That's the first time it's done that. That's so weird. I can tell grin creepily as he retrieved a small digital camera in his inner pocket. See? Oh wait, this is, this big. is it. <laughs> as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. Here you go. Huh. Let me explain it to you again. <sighs> what? Yeah. Yeah, just continue. Huh. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the final dead room. But, don't you think it's weird? Hmm. If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture. Right? <gasps> Where? Lots of things that shouldn't make sense in this picture? We're not Let's in Kansas see. anymore. <laughs> Shall I call it... Thinking time. <laughs> new mini game. <laughs> this is gonna be a new mini game called Thinking Time. Why does that sound so damn menacing? I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. What doesn't make sense in this picture? Spot selection. Yeah, so there's. Yeah, just like, what doesn't make sense? Well, I mean. Because, because knowing the structure they're building, yeah, what doesn't make sense? The other part should be over that here. Here! Yeah. Okay, Pat. Oh, if see. the structure of the funhouse is what we thought it was, my whole game is wrecked. <laughs> Not that way. Grape house and strawberry yeah. house should link to the tower in the middle. Hmm. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from strawberry house, you should see grape house behind it. Maybe. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no grape house at all. Hmm. I don't know. You might be lying. I see. <laughs> and is that it? Oh wait, maybe that ain't right. Hmm. Nagito said there's lots of things that don't make sense in this photo, which means there are other contradictions contained in it. What doesn't make sense in this picture? Huh. That's the only one I could tell. What else? What else? I mean... Would it just be that we're in the forest? I don't- I don't- hmm. No, man, it's up to you to figure it out. Yeah, that's the other thing that puzzled me, that we're in a forest. Come puzzle. Uh... Here! Huh. Oh, wow. You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? Maybe. If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. <gasps> yeah, it should have been. Then, yeah, this is definitely strange. Oh. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. Oh. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. Mm. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area. And Grape House is not behind the tower. So we're stacked on top of each other? Huh. It's not. Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion huh. spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? <laughs> yeah, it tastes like black beans. <laughs> From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. Is, is, this, is it just going through everyone's like face of disdain? Maybe. Hold on, wait, let's... <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Dead. I miss Pecco. Also, oh, oh, that's it. That one's dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is funny. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> and then this jockey. He, he's dead, I think. I'm dead too. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think you're dead. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm in space! Uh, yes, Mikan became cars. 
it might be possible for Hajime to solve it too. Even though he's just a normal high school student. Hmm. <laughs> Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. The other clue? You're talking about that one time. Yeah, they must be connected from top to bottom. <laughs> well, hello there. Hello there, Hajime. Did he just eat like eat the flooring in Strawberry House and climb down into Grape House? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this place was flavored. Why didn't anybody think of eating the wall? <laughs> it just, the walls are just made of strawberry and grapes. <laughs> Anyways, why well, hello there, Hajime. Nakito! Why are you here? Because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? Uh, that, that, that. <laughs> I hacked. God damn it, not again! You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? Hmm. I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The where do you floor, think it? right? Hmm. Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. Oh. Top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? Was the thing just now another hint to figure out the mystery behind Funhouse's structure? The reason Nagito appeared from the third floor. Using the photo he took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. Alright, let's do this! Oh yeah, here we go. Two floors. It's all, it's all coming together. It's, all it's about to come together. together. Ichi! Good luck. Good luck, because these, these do get rough. Okay. God, whenever I'm having a stressful time during a trial, I sometimes like to imagine that I'm playing on CoolMathGames.com. <laughs> yep. Just pretend you're a juice dispenser. You always win. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Why am I? Wait a minute. Why am I in CC's Pizza? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, what are they doing to my own game? They, <laughs> they, they. Of course, they both exist. Do they both exist? Yeah, they both no. No, it's all your imagination. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what a shame. It's in, it's in the imagination. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 oh, I couldn't. Okay, nope. I, thought, I thought it would appear a second time. You gotta that, jump. Yep, you got trolled. Loser. That's meme. That's just meme. Oh, what is oh! meme? <gasps> okay. Okay. <laughs> It is on mean difficulty, so. Yeah, that's true. This is cool. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Okay, question two. Question two. Is everyone in the same building or two different buildings? I think they're the same building. No, they're red. <gasps> Shit, he's right. Yeah, he's no, they're green. Okay, okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Thank you. Question three. Server, uh, positioned with each other. Positioned with each other? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, vertically. Come on. Yes! It is vertically! Wow, really? What else would it be? <laughs> okay, they both exist. They're in the same building and they're vertical. It's all coming together! It's all coming together! Oh yeah, oh it's all God. coming together. Oh yeah. What a fun Got house. It. I know the secret of the fun house. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Then let me <laughs> What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? Dummy. In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There is only one oh, possibility. Oh, you to feed a position where it couldn't be seen uh, from Strawberry House. Oh, you're done? Almost. Which Just means to feed Strawberry all. House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Can't believe the quest lies to you. Okay. The same building, different floors. Oh, this is this is a new spray. <laughs> I am ax ab absolutely baffled. <laughs> I like this. Uh, saving that one like well. Okay, let's continue. 
then the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. Mm. They're actually one six-story building? Wow. If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Where Strawberry House is located. The floor is below Grape House. Wait, what? Oh, I, I, I got them mixed up. Okay, Grape, Grape House is under Strawberry House. Okay. Crap! Crap! No, that was contradict contra contra the photo Nagito took. It was clearly from the higher area. Strawberry House is located above Grape House. I see! I see! I got it right the first time. Uh, I'm going cross eyed and my eyes are actually crossed. That's where Strawberry House is located. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Hmm. All together, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Okay. Oh, snap! <laughs> I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically! Why is she saying all this slang? Oh, snap. What about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes! Oh, my gosh. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? Mm. It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. Mm. A quadrilateral and a hexagon overlaid atop each Wait, other what? to misdirect how we have to see them. Dang! <laughs> and it oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that's different. Oh uh, yes, finally, the tower, so 3D. We fully wow. believe the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. How, how much of this stuff is gonna- how much, like, of this awesome looking, sort of, 3D stuff is gonna be in V3? Who knows? Uh, in order we'll to see. conceal we'll the see. unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. Mm. Not a bad. <laughs> you just been kuma <laughs> 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 Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? We got killed in it. Then it's yeah. true? The building was no. really like that? That's no. right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Oh, this is so Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House. Wow. Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? It elevates whenever the elevator moves. Ah, your precious hammies don't know? But it's so simple! Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. Oh, you are I so see. annoying. Do whatever you like. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel bad for him almost. I'll definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. Dude, just I'll be a murderer. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna kill somebody right in front of her. <sighs> I know you're showing up with me. Hmm. Yes, knowledge. I'm gonna hmm. solve this mystery in a flash. Okay. All right, hurry up, dumbass! Porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> one of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, you're was actually a dummy. Oh god, god damn it! Uh, you mean right. a fake body? Dummies are tasty. Nekumaru died with a mechanical <laughs> body. Science gun. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. Uh, you're a magnificent, Gundam. <laughs> You told me stole oh my one. god. <laughs> so which one was the fake body? Shut up. Just pick one of them. Oh, oh, oh they're, they're the best. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Gundam just cucking soda. <laughs> He's being cucked I'm so totally hard. unaware. This is basically this chapter. Oh Gundam cuck soda. This is just Gundam cuck soda the chapter. If Dolby of Nekomaru's body existed, does that mean the killer prepared it in advance? Maybe. But is something like that even possible? I'm smiling. Maybe. 
I'm gonna <laughs> solve this mystery in a flash. Then hurry up, dumbass. <laughs> Let's look at the money. Yes. Mm. No. But yes. Yes, he is dead. Right, Nekamaru? I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> one of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. Hmm. Are dummies tasty? You mean a fake body? Yeah. Nekumaru it's died with a mechanical like body. A train. <laughs> it should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent yes. Gundam! <sighs> no fair! You totally stole my spot! Wait, let me look at the broken toy now. It's gonna be important in a second. Um, of, uh, under the tip of the shoe, we should pull that. So, one of the journals from Maybe this one. No, wait. Hmm. The only two points are it's a dummy and mechanical body. So, let's try something. So, which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! Just pick one of them. <laughs> Let's do it so you can end my suffering. <laughs> I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers... Let's try this one, just to be sure. ...was actually a dummy! Okay. No, that's wrong! So do you guys! Indeed. Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. <laughs> he uh, refused. I... He refuted Kazuichi with his own with his own statement. Huh? Me? Remember Nani. when we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? Hmm. We thought the body had moved, and that's when you said, "The body wants to move." <laughs> Not just that. The parts that I carefully arranged when I assembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? Maybe. The killer mm. couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't Maybe. have built a dummy. Mm. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> She's just accusing him of murder now? <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. I feel bad for him, but Sonia goes so well with Gundam. <gasps> oh, <laughs> she's being serious! You are joking, right? It's all right. Oh. Kazuichi is not the killer. Oh. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. Hmm. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. Oh, yeah, true. I see. That is disappointing. <laughs> wow! She just wants she just wants Soda to die. Whoa, okay. I'm even more disappointed. Oh, I am defeated. Oh, Soda. Oh. However, even if <laughs> Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. Hmm. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Well, it's time for Hajime to figure this out. <coughs> <laughs> Where did Nekomaru's body was in different towers? Maybe it was simply moved? By an elevator. The floor elevated it. The body moved to a different floor? Oh you can't God. think of a device like that? <laughs> a device that moves things to different floors in the same building? Come on, Hajime, <laughs> can you think of it? Oh, uh, uh, a device. Oh, my God. Hajime, please. <laughs> device that more things in different floors in the same building? <laughs> I feel like I've seen that before. All Are right, you having this. a stroke? Maybe. <laughs> He's he, <laughs> he's having a brain blast. My ancestor Nayagi come to me and aid me. I don't know. Can you even spell knife? <laughs> oh shit! I can't spell knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This was like the stupidest thing. I'm here like Hajime. Do you not know what an elevator is? <laughs> what are they called? Escalators. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it yes. was a lift, of course. A lift? Uh, yeah, I mean, a, you're not wrong. It was a floor transporter. <laughs> I mean, also not wrong. It was a vertical you're trying to, you're trying, 
you're trying to make yourself sound done, but like all of them were. I mean, were I, I'm not trying to say that I'm wrong. I'm just trying to say it in different. You in must have used a ladder. A ladder. <laughs> Oh my god. Or like a ladle. <laughs> I know, a big one! <laughs> god, they're really kind of fast. Yep. Yeah, man. Huh. Tor. Tor. Now we Elevate. wait for it. What would the last letter be? Oh! Elevate hot. It's elevator! Oh I got it! Oh. No, it's Lord Vader. Oh, it's Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> you Rock must be talking you. about an elevator. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? <laughs> what is this the hell elevator? Is this elevator, you elevator speak? anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tower In itself. Hold on, hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. Interior Crocodile Theater, I drive a Chevrolet <laughs> Movie Theater. <laughs> Interior crocodile alligator. Oh my god! I the inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means wow. the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. That is insane! So whether you enter from the Strawberry Hall sideways. or Grape Hall... Wow. Hajime! <laughs> yes? Hajime. Do you even lift? <laughs> wow, and it shows like a little light and everything. That's crazy. It all leads to the same room, right? Wow. No. So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Is that why they're, um... No, never mind. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. Huh. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive just like an elevator. That is insane. <gasps> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? To throw you off, And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. Yeah, to throw you off, right? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Hmm. Plus... After the incident, the far back door and Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? Maybe. But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. Huh. <sighs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? Huh. Hmm. Wait, but what if... Hmm. When you oh! things, Make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. Hmm. What did you say? <laughs> so, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Hmm. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have I in common? I think I know what happened. Hmm. The things that didn't change when we moved between the two towers. Things that didn't change. The things that didn't change. Me. Like the body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been talking about that stuff for a while now. There shouldn't be anything strange about them. Not even the fact that they all moved with the elevator. <clears throat> um, one thing they all have in common. Uh, they're all on the floor. I see. Yeah. The door is part of the tower, not the elevator. Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? <laughs> Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because the elevator has something unique about it. I mean, it's only a platform. It's not an actual room. Something unique about the elevator. Only the floor There's moves. No ceilings! Elevator. Oh, Hmm. I mean, both enormous of them are kind of unique. Circle. It's an enormous circle. There's no ceiling. I'll say only the four moves. I see. I see. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Hmm. Only the floor moved? Wow. Only the Which floor. Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. Yeah. 
All right, I'm glad I was right. Different doors mm. in each tower. I, I I thought we were assuming that when we said it was an elevator. I forgot that there's a chance there could have been like an, a ceiling to it. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then, where do the different floors lead? I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Mm. Just for show? Why was something like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. Yeah. It really is like a fun house. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. That is insane. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Mm. Did you I love that, that game. Monami? <laughs> don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Ow. And I'll take responsibility uh. and gently caress you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, oh dear. Like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. Oh, okay. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? Hmm. It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? Huh. <laughs> Uh, like you said, I could probably use this parts to repair the button, but... Seriously, hold on. No, you hold on. <laughs> Even if you repair the button, what's, go what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Ch ch chain? <laughs> the door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the bunch of strawberry hall side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. He didn't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the strawberry hall button, so we'd stay away from strawberry tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. Hmm. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. Uh. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. Hmm. What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it looks like those like sad cat memes of like the cats crying. Uh. Lag, take it. <laughs> You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? Yeah. If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? That's what I've been wondering. I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. Oh. Oh, wow, he's right. What? Huh. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. 
Wow. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Oh. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? Huh. What does this mean? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, she's copying him. She's copying <laughs> him. Oh. Uh, I agree. What does this mean? No. What does this mean? <laughs> Two houses are connected vertically. The position of the tower should be on the same in both houses. Well, maybe the houses are smaller than we thought. But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in the grape house, the tower was on my right. And when, when my back was facing the elevator in the strawberry house, the tower was on the left. How can I break through this contradiction? Okay, this is a It's simple, one. really. Huh. This one's actually easy. Okay. Contact elevators, Nagato's, broken doorknob, strange feeling, Akane's account, Yuhiko's account. Okay. Let's get, let's get those accounts. Um, okay, those are both about the times. Uh, Akane, strange feeling in the tower. It's like one more evidence you did not see. Yeah, okay. Uh, just want to look at this one more time. Okay. Bullets. The elevator should move. Mm. Vertically, not horizontally. <laughs> now you get to a sudden appearance. Okay. I think I know how the elevator works. Huh. Same. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind, oh, yeah, okay, that's what I was looking for. I think I misread. The towers are in opposite directions, which means your reasoning they're completely, is clearly other's... contradictory. They're completing each other's sentences. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Iron <laughs> curtain, <laughs> that face. <laughs> So Gundam and Sonya have matching arguments, because they're clearly in love and I ship it. It sounds like it makes sense, but is it really correct? What is this the love you are speak of? Vertically. Hmm. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact and the towers are in opposite directions. I have two theories. Which means your reason is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? If the two houses are connected, the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. There we go. No, that's wrong. So do watch guys. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. It was also twisting. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Wait, what? <laughs> hey, come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Mm. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. It... Was probably following Whoa. the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. No way! What I thought was way more convoluted than that. Wow. Yeah, that, that's what I thought it was. Wow, a spiraling elevator. Oh my god. Okay. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you okay. arrived at the other house, right? This is insane! And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House. Hmm. Well, what's the use of that we uh, the center there, though? The yellow. Wait, what? So then what's the use of the, the tower right there? It's a fun house. Yeah, it represents the strawberry and grape tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about like, the yellow part? Where? The yellow structure right there. What so is like, that used for, then? That, that, yeah. That's, the, um, that's where uh, Nekomaru's body is. Yeah, it's the yeah. tower. They're both the same, but yeah. they have different... Depending on which uh, entrance you come in, oh. when you go inside, it represents the other door. Yeah. So if you come in from Strawberry, and you can come in from through the front door, 
you'll see the other door is going to be the grape doors, okay. as if you're going to the great the grape halls. And Nakamura's body will be elevated up to that area. Okay. It's a pseudo false elevator. Yeah, it's crazy. Hajime does not know what an elevator is. <laughs> Until Neither did neutral. <laughs> an elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Well, a fun house is an amusement park oh, attraction, stop you know. Oh, talking. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. It's gotta be dangerous. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. I am so a we're god. done with the secret <laughs> of the fun house, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. Okay. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? Is the ultimate weapon knowledge? Knowledge of your surroundings? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know? Hmm. What is the Octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. The circle. Oh, I, oh. I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. Hmm. What does the octagon <laughs> I see! I see them! No, it's a circle. If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? Hmm. I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. What an ass. <sighs> I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? That's befitting the name Octagon. It's probably Great Tower. Huh. Oh. Oh yeah, oh my bad. I, I, I didn't see that right. Huh. Great Palace is the Octagon? But isn't Great Palace six-sided? You're right, it looks like I had a little misunderstanding. Crap! Crap! Everyone's scared! Octagon? Would it be here? The elevator... I mean... Hmm... Tower circular, yeah, that, that doesn't sound right. Octagon. Yes, it is, it's a circle. Hmm... Do I have to get Jack Black to explain? What do you mean, Jack Black? Alright, about to transform this man's whole career. Uh huh. But what? What are you, what are you doing? While you're doing that, I'm gonna go grab my phone real fast. There you go, neutral. And he's gone. This will teach you all about him. <laughs> yep, I, I knew that you were gonna put <laughs> <laughs> I have seen this. It's I've seen pretty much all of them. Mm hmm The golden age of YouTube. Yeah, actually, I use that. I use that shader. Yep. For now.
awesome angles if you, what? I'll swim back. I, I, I realized I had a missed phone call, so I had to call back. Uh, okay. What is, what is this? Your mom. Well, actually, I did, I did call my mom, so that's, you're right. Oh, god dang it, this video! Okay. <laughs> hmm. Continue. Yeah, I mean... Am I over or underthinking this? Uh, I think the only thing that would be... Right, it looks like a little misunderstanding. <laughs> So, the hint. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. What? Oh, wait. Can you rotate it? No, I can't. Remember how it's four sided. Would it be the entrances? No, there's no way. The elevator. What, what? You sure you can't rotate it? Oh wow! Yeah, I forgot the timer's still going. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't rotate that. Lost the lead. Don't tell me you finally given up on thinking we're doing something else. Otherwise. There's no way you reach the time limit for such an easy problem. Crap! Damn it! What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Would it be fitting of the name Octagon? It's probably. Hmm. Please just see if you can rotate it. Yeah, no, I, I pressed every every button that I could think of to rotate. Mm. Select the suspicious okay. spot, E, Q, arrow keys, right mouse button. Space bar, yeah, no. Mm. The tunnels? Hmm. Then. Above? Next to? I, I've selected every everything I'm able to select. Consult the moo! Yeah, I may, I may have to. Um, Optic. Hmm. Whenever. Hmm. Square. <laughs> Sided. Something with eight sides. Hello. Hey, moo, welcome back. We're kind of. I'm kind of stuck on this. Uh, uh yes. Yes, I, I was too, but then it was kind of like, oh. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay, so just um, because I've selected, I selected the tower, the entrance to the tower, strawberry and grape house, and the elevator. Yeah, I need a hint. Yes, please. Um, so of course, you know, we all know octagon is eight sided, yes. but does it really need to be shaped like an octagon? If you know what I mean. Huh. An octagon. Does it need to be shaped like an octagon? Okay. Hmm, got him running out of... Uh... Fun show, man. Hmm? It's a little fun show, man. <laughs> hmm. Um, I ran out of time again. Uh, that's, the, yeah, that's the second time we ran out. Oh, Does it need to be shaped like an octagon? Crap! Oh my god, this is destroying me. Okay. Is it, but okay. does it need to be shaped like an octagon? Does it need to be shaped like an octagon? So it has now, I will tell you this. It's generally a place that isn't there. That isn't there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. A place that isn't there. That you don't see on this, I would say. So, lots of cognitive, lots of thinking about 
Oh my god. Okay, so if it's a place that isn't normally there, then maybe the area above Strawberry House? Now, here's another hint. Oh, yeah? Think of where the position of where uh, the octagon was to the other houses. Okay, so the octagon. Like so far that we, you remember. Okay, so the octagon was in Strawberry House around the air. Okay, so it was sort of. It seemed to kind of wrap around Strawberry House. It was over here behind the bridge to the hall. So maybe... Hmm... Crap! So I can't select that empty area, so... Here? No. Hmm. Here! Oh, okay. So it is the empty space, but just in that specific location. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. No. <laughs> oh, but the angle that we were looking at it, that place where he was looking out from was obscured. Oh, how weird. Okay. Why is that place the octagon? Hmm. You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. Huh. Okay. That's basically the gist of it. Okay. Oh. Oh, what an a Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Yes, sir. Learn? Learn. The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the funhouse. Uh. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Hmm. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery and then thought of a way to kill making use of the building structure. The fun house itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? Huh. That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. Hmm. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. Hmm. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. Huh. The fun house is the true identity of the ultimate weapon? I'm dead! What does that mean? <laughs> I'm dead! What does that mean? How did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru? So the ultimate weapon was knowledge. And... Yeah. You already know the, the answer, actually. We already went over that step before. Mm -hmm. Who is the killer who did that? I got my hunches. Yeah, I have my hunches too. I'm hunchback. Hiya! <clears throat> oh yes, hello. Um, I have a brand new word to call Monomy. <gasps> well, I can already tell he won't be pleased by this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> I'm already used oh, no, to no, no, something. No, no, no. Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already used to insults and slander. There's no way you'll get hurt by a mere word. Monary is a ni- I mean, is a serious stuff. <laughs> stuff of The fat. That's much more straightforward than I expected. Stufatly, huh? Tick, tick, tick. That's not it. That's not it at all. Oh. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these would be 
Ta-da! It's the fat head. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba? There's a fat hidden in there. Okay, everyone, all together now. Monami is a serious stupidly. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, we will end there, I believe. Postponed. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Jeez. Thanks. They're dead.